house is uh, called Cellophane House in part because we had, you know, developed this idea of a transparent, translucent house. We chose to use that term because we thought it was uplifting and, and kind of lovely. These five houses cover the range from maybe a luxury second home on the beach uh, to a house that really could serve housing needs almost anywhere in the globe. central idea about the house is how it's made. It's largely made off-site um, in a factory in New Jersey and brought here to the site and erected in a total of 16 days. One of the things everybody always says about prefabrication is it's the next best thing. The history of modernism in architecture is intimately tied up with the dream of being able to make houses in factories. We think it could be used anywhere. We um, envision it potentially being used in urban settings. We see it being used on ex-urban or rural sites or suburban sites. This house is designed for disassembly. When you go into it and look inside, you'll see that all the connectors are bolted together, literally, so we can unbolt the house, lift the floor panels out, lift the seal panels out, disassemble the house, and reassemble it somewhere else. Their work represents an entire mustering of all of the uh, ways in which the entire business model for architecture and manufacturing could change uh, with the computer revolution. We are gathering power from the sun through uh, building integrated photovoltaics in the glass on the south side and in our next generation smart wrap walls which are the PET plastic walls on the side. Um, and they can power, you know, appliances, you know, within the house. I think conceptually it, uh, it is a good example of what uh, people should expect from the exhibit. I think it's much more about design and the aesthetics. So one can't say is it about aesthetics or is it about making. It is about aesthetics as making. This is a digitally fabricated house. Uh, perhaps in some sense is less prefabricated than the others. I guess for us, the beginning of the prefab is that we can control more pieces. The, the house in some way is complex because we think life is complex. We think it's, it's, you know, things are unstable, things are in motion, and that this house in some ways captures that motion. It was, it was about um, cutting every piece because every piece is different. Right, so it was finding a way of uh, using the computer to cut and track uh, every piece of the house. So this is uh, one large space for our dining, kitchen and living room. And we brought the ribs up from below uh, so you can sit on top of the ribs and look down, look at the people below for the show. Um, and we're selling this for 500000 The Micro Compact House by Richard Horden is just an adorable small design object. Minimal existence, maximum luxury that we associate with luxury train compartments in the best European trains. He has created a cube in which everything you need is within arm's reach through a set of incredible uh, movable parts. Yeah, I smoke in my house because it's my house. This house, we, we started at uh, half past six and then uh, I think we, we finished at one o'clock in the afternoon. The system three, which can become a house, it can become a apartment house, it could become a multi-family dwelling, it could become a bigger house, a smaller house. Uh, we're looking at what I think is one of the most feasible new designs that deals with existing technologies. The main idea of, of this system is that we have serving space, like, like this box, which is coming as a box in a container. This is highly installed, uh, all the plumbing, all the stuff, air conditioning is in there. And then we have this called, we call it naked space. And the naked space is uh, actually is just wooden slabs, use, which we use as floor, ceiling and facades. So we don't have to ship uh, that many air around. So we save a lot of uh, shipping costs. And the last house we have here 
is one with an enormous promise. Lauren Sass, who is a computational architect, can take that powerhouse and send its advantages out into the field in a place like New Orleans, replacing its housing with a digitally fabricated version of the traditional African-American shotgun house, familiar to the residents, technologically cutting edge, but also coming in if they're produced in sufficient number at an incredibly low price. This is a technology that could be sent almost anywhere in the world where there's a pressing need for housing. We wouldn't have designed this, I don't think, if we weren't willing to live in it. With a few shades, probably.